Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade math year in review part 2. So we're going to start by solving some equations. So we've got x over 2 is equal to negative 14. When we're dividing um, a variable, what we need to do is do the opposite operation. So we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides and to keep our equation equal we multiply. Okay, when we multiply by 2, the 2's cancel, and we're left with x. So x is equal to, and then we just multiply the right side, which is negative 28. And that's how we handle division. Okay, so now let's look at a two-step equation. We have 3x minus 6 is equal to 15. To solve for x, we're going to add 6 to both sides. And... That gives us 3x because the 6's cancel is equal to 15 plus 6 is 21. And then since it's 3 times x is equal to 21, we want to divide to do the opposite operation. So we get x equals 7. So there's how we solve a two-step equation. Now this is another two-step equation, but this time our variable is negative. Okay, we want to isolate the x, so we're going to move the 2 to the other side. Now be careful because the 2 is actually positive. So in order to move it, we have to subtract it. So bringing this down, 2 minus 2 is 0. We have a negative 4 that we bring down. And then 26 minus 2 is 24. And then we want to divide both sides by negative 4 because you want the x to be positive, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then you have 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. So there's the first part with our two-step equations. Now let's move to a little more complicated problem. This is where we have more than one variable on the one side. So what you want to do is look at the equal sign and simplify the left side. So we have like terms, 5x and 2x. We want to actually combine these two like terms. So 5x plus 2x is 7x. Now we're going to bring down the constant, and it's negative 7 is equal to 42. Now we have a two-step equation, just like we worked. So we're going to add 7 to both sides, and that's going to give us 49. So 7x is equal to 49, divide by 7, so x is positive 7. So that one was a little bit more involved because we had to simplify before we moved anything around. Now the next problem, we are going to have to use what's called the distributive property. When you have 5 times a quantity, we have to multiply everything in that parentheses by the 5. So 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. That's equal to positive 15. Now we have a two-step equation. So let's add 15 to both sides, and that leaves us with 30 on the right side. The 15's cancel, and I bring down my 5x. Now, 5 times what gives us 30? We're going to divide by 5, so x is 6. So that's how we solve one with a distributive property. So now this next one, we have a distributive property and we have to simplify. So we're kind of getting more complicated each time. So the first thing we want to do is distribute that negative 2. So distribute it into the parentheses. So that gives me negative 6y. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. Bring down the negative 7 and then the neg uh, equal to 16. Now we can simplify the left side. We have two constants. So negative 6 plus 5 is equal to 16. The 5 came from combining the negative 12 minus 7. Now we have a two-step equation. So move your constant first. So we get negative 6, the 5's cancel, equals um, 
16 minus 5 is 11, and then we divide by negative 6, and we end up with y equals 11 over negative 6, or negative 6 11. So I tend to put the negative on the top. Okay, so that's distributing and combining. Now let's look at some inequalities. Okay, so here's some inequalities. We're going to treat this as if it's an equation. So we're going to pretend this less than or equal to is just an equal to. The only time you will change an inequality is if you multiply or divide on the very last step, you will flip your inequality. And I'll show you when those happen. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is simplify this. So if you have negative 5 minus a negative 9, we have a double negative in the middle. So that becomes plus. So negative 5x plus 9 is less than or equal to negative 6. Now we have a two-step equation. So we're going to subtract 9, and the 9's cancel. So we have negative 5 to bring down on the left side is less than or equal to a negative 15, same sign you add and keep the sign. And now we're going to divide by a negative. Now, this is the step, very last step. If you divide or multiply by a negative, we're going to turn the inequality the opposite way. So it's a less than or equal to, we're going to change it to a greater than or equal to symbol. So the fives cancel and we're left with x is greater than or equal to, and then this side negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive three. So that's how we work an inequality. Treat it as if it is an equation and then in the last step, if you multiply or divide by a negative, we flip the inequality. Okay, so let's look at this next one. Okay, we have x divided by negative six is greater than or equal to 14. We're dividing by negative six, so we have to multiply by negative six. Now notice we're multiplying by a negative. This is the last step of the equation, so we are going to have to flip it to a less than or equal to. So the sixes, the negative sixes cancel, and I have x is less than or equal to because we have the flip. And then negative 6 times 14 is, let's see, 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 more is 8. And then a positive times a negative is a negative. So there's our answer x is less than or equal to negative 84. Okay, so let's look at another inequality. This is a two-step. Now I can go ahead and look at this and see that the coefficient in front of x is positive. So in this problem, I will not have to flip my inequality. Okay, so let's just solve it. I'm going to add my 4 to move it to the other side. Now I'm adding a negative, but since I'm not multiplying or dividing, I don't have to flip. I bring down a 9. I bring down my greater than or equal to. The 4s cancel, and I have 9x. And it's a positive 9x I bring down. Then I'm going to divide by 9. So 1 is greater than or equal to x. And if you like the x on the left, you can take it and flip it. If you flip the order, the inequality also flips. So it's x is less than or equal to 1. So there's that inequality, okay? Now, this is our last group of problems. Let's look at these. These are evaluating problems. We're going to define A to be negative 5, B to be negative 2, and X to be positive 4. We're going to solve this equation by plugging in values. So we have 8A minus 3B plus 18. So we're going to plug in a negative 5 wherever there's an A, a negative 2 wherever there's a b, and a 4 wherever there's an x. Well, there's not an x, so I'm not going to use that this time. But we can plug these two values in. So I have 8a. That means multiplication. So 8 times negative 5 minus 3 times, and I'm going to plug in my negative 2, plus 18. Now let's simplify this. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6 plus 18. Now let's just add left to right. Negative 40 plus 6 is negative 34. Negative 34 plus 18. 
I subtract and take the sine of the larger. So the sine of the larger is actually a negative because negative a negative 34, there's just more negatives than positives. So I'm going to have a negative answer and I'm going to subtract. So 14 minus 8 is 6 and then 2 minus 1 is 1. So it's negative 16 is my final answer. Okay, now let's look at simplifying. All we're going to do is combine like terms. So we have groups of X's and groups of Y's and we're going to combine them together. So I'm going to underline all my x's. So I've got 6x plus 4x minus 8x. Let's combine just the x's. That's going to give me 10x minus 8x, which is positive 2x. Now let's circle the y's. I have a negative 3y and a negative 2y. There are only two terms, they're the same sign, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. So that's negative 5y. Now, I'm done because I cannot add those two terms together because the variables are different. Okay, now let's look at our last problem. We have distributing on the left side, or on the, in the first part of the expression, and then we actually have another distributing. It doesn't look like it, but there's a negative 1. So I'm going to draw that negative 1 right there so we can see it. And we can see we have to distribute that in. So let's start by distributing the 5. We have 5x minus 20. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 1. So I've got a minus x minus 7. Now I can combine my like terms. 5x minus x. What's 5x minus x? That's 4x. And then I have a negative 20 minus 7. They're the same sign, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. So that's negative 27. So 4x minus 27 is the last problem. I hope this video was helpful on the 7th grade year in review part 2.